Alright, what is up, my lovely people? I have something unique for you today. Uh, first, let me just... I'm sorry, it's been two weeks since I've done a video. I meant to do more, but then... If you remember the previous video, I was saying there was something kind of starting to go on with my throat. I don't want to go through everything I went through, but let's just say, for about a week, I kind of wanted to die. It was not good times. And then, right after that week, uh, I basically, I went back to classes. Classes have started up for me again. And it was also the pr week preceding Super Bowl, obviously. And uh, Super Bowl is definitely one of the busiest times of the year for me work-wise. And so combining class and work just made it impossible for me to do anything so if you remember the end of that video i kind of started to talk about something new that i wanted to do but then i was like yeah you know what i'll just save it for when i actually get a chance to do it this is what i wanted to do um not with this game i actually want to do it with fighting games which what you are seeing right now is not the game itself this is a pre-recorded video and i am just re-watching it basically from VLC media player and so this allows me this will allow me to be kind of more analytical about everything I can fast forward stuff <coughs> I can um rewind stuff like show stuff off etc etc so you know it's a pro and a con thing like I said I can be I can definitely be a lot more analytical about it but you don't really get that like live emotional aspect of it either but I figure it's a good alternative, uh, you know, because it allows me to record at a time when more people are playing the games versus, you know, me trying to play at like 10 a.m. on a Saturday morning because that's when nobody's around and sleeping and stuff and I'm not like annoying everybody. So it'll allow me to do more stuff, hopefully. But so this is a game called uh, Clash, I'm sorry, Might and Magic Clash of Heroes. Uh, it's kind of a strategy puzzle-ish game. I'll just I'll just show you. We'll get started here. That went a bit too far. My bad. So um, basically, the point of this game is to ma it's kind of like almost like you're playing Bejeweled, kind of. You're trying to match up uh, either rows or columns of three characters. And so when you match up a row of three characters, no, I'm sorry, a column of three characters, like I did right there, they will attack. And if you match up a um, a column. Of three or more characters at a time you get as you saw right there you get a wall you get a barrier that you have to break down in order to get it and so the glowing lines on both sides those are if you if one one, one if anybody's enemy units reaches that side you take damage and so that's the entire point is to build up enough stuff here to do enough damage to take out their HP now the problem with this game is it's very heavily RNG based. I have already lost this fight. I believe you can see my uh, mouse cursor here. These two dudes right here that are going on three turns, they're going to fuck my day up. I have already lost. There's nothing I can do about it. There's no way anymore for me to set up enough damage or enough mitigation to not get killed by those dudes. And so that's kind of what I mean by uh, RNG based. It's like sometimes the enemy just get like either the enemy just gets good enough shit that they just win or you never get anything good enough and so then you kind of just get grinded down because you've never got anything particularly good to allow you to win the battle and on top of that now there are aspects of this game that can allow you that can definitely allow you to like pull one out of your ass there is something called uh links right there actually i just got a link when you see those little chains come up because multiple people multiple units of the same color are attacking on the same turn they get a power boost so that's one way that you can kind of pull one out of your ass is if you put enough links together they can just kind of overwhelm everybody the second thing you can do is um if you as you can see there are six rows here and so if you combine if you set up actually i'm doing it right here wow this is actually very good i can't remember what that's called but as you can see that doubled their hp and so it basically just combines them so they do more damage at once and that allows you to not have to wait so as you can see i barely survived one but then the other one comes down and blows my day up um but so that allows you to basically not have to wait for the turn for the specific creatures turns to go you don't have to wait another three turns you just combine it and then they both go off at the same time um and then there's a bunch of other kind of like nuances to everything if you um like let's say i'm trying to see you get like if, if you look at my blue icon down there that's how many turns you have left there are a bunch of things you can do in order to create more turns 
Um, I'm not going to get into every single one of them, because if you want to play the game, then you'll learn them. Then if you don't, then hey, who really cares? But in general, it's basically, if you can't, like, for instance, if you look right here on the left side of my screen, I'm hoping the mouse cursor is showing up. Uh, if I canceled this dude out, this little orange dude, these three would combine, and then that would give me an extra turn, because I'm using an action to make something else happen, which I did not do, because I don't know if I just didn't notice it or if I didn't care. Um... But anyway, a bunch of things like that. So you can definitely set up some pretty awesome shit, some awesome chains that end up giving you a ton of turns, a ton of power and stuff like that. But again, it's very heavily... See, like right here, I've already lost again because he has these two dudes coming down the same row. I don't have enough shit set up to kill him first. So I've already lost here. I've already lost because this dude is going to come down. Uh, they have a special ability, which makes it so that no matter what, if one of these dudes goes and there are any other active waiting, the other guys will go on that same turn. So even though this guy is set up for two turns later and this guy is set up for three turns later, they will both go at the same time. So he will go, clear out any obstacles that are in front of him, and then the second one will come through and just kill me. So we're going to go ahead and go on to this next battle. Since we've already lost here. And this is kind of what I mean about like how it can get really... This is definitely an example of like this game at its worst. Because I am under-leveled. Um, and this guy's magic just sucks. He has terrible... He has terrible magic that just doesn't really work out very well. I don't know what I was... What am I... I don't even know what I'm doing right here. Like setting up those walls, I could have I could have set this dude. I could have set up my own little horsey, but I didn't. What am I doing? I'm stupid. But it's definitely because these guys are considered elite units, and those are definitely the ones in general that if you have the ability to set them up, you absolutely want to set them up because they're the ones that are gonna win for you. Well, see, I have no idea why I t why I didn't set that up earlier. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure I lose this one, too. Can I actually, like, fast-forward using the key? No, I can't, darn. I was hoping there would be some way for me to kind of, like, fast-forward. But it doesn't look like it. No. I don't really have any particularly good way to do it. I think if I actually... Kind of. But yeah, as you can see now, this dude has two of those set up. I have now lost. There is really no way for me to do it. See, I'm trying to mitigate it here. So let's fast-forward it a little bit more. That's what I'm talking about. This is what I'll be able to do. This is this is I'm not like this. Is, there's nothing special about this video, but I just I just wanted to show. This is kind of what I'm intending to potentially do later on. Dang, this dude is gonna ruin my day. <laughs> okay, but eventually I win it. So let's just skip forward to when I win it. I can't remember. Do I win it on this one? I can't even remember. Did I win? Did I win? Did I win? Did I win? 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 I did win. So how did I win? I don't really see anything particularly important. There's no way I won that. Look at that. Look at what that dude has right there. There's no... Nope. Nope. We're going... We're going forward one more. Oh, I did. Enough stuff went through on that turn. Oh, it was the succubus. Look at that. Look at that. Victory. And then I recorded this battle too because it sucks because this... Oh, I hate... I hate battles like this because you have to hit this dude. You have to drain him, but he moves around and his movements are random. They're not pre-planned, so you can't... You just kind of have to set stuff up and hope that he's still there when it goes off. And so I just kind of wanted to show that off because it's just frustrating and it's so annoying and it's just... It's so bad. I think I got really close. To, I think I got him down to one health, actually, if I remember. Before I... No, I didn't. Looks like I got him down to 11 because I'm probably going to die on the next turn. Oh no, he has five. But yeah, I believe I do not survive these dudes. I think they do exactly enough damage. They go up to nine. So there goes five, there goes two. Bam. Two health left. I was so close. But anyway. That's just that's just the showcasing of what I plan on doing in the future. And so just wanna let you know I'm not dead. Not quite. I got close. But 
not quite. And so hopefully this will be something that I can do further on if I can actually find something. If I can find something to get me to play Guilty Gear. I'm honestly just starting to kind of like... Should I just play Solar Kai? Like, kind of to that level. Like, just play these characters for now. Until the next iteration adds, you know, three, four more characters. And maybe one of those four will be good. Or they'll reimagine one of the existing characters and make them perfect for me. Or something like I don't know. But right now, I definitely am not... There's nothing motivating me to really want to sit down with Guilty Gear. And so I'm kind of starting to think, like, maybe I really should just pick Solar Kai. And just do what I can do. But we'll figure it out. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.